Hi guys, so I'm a mummy vlogger called Jennifer Joy and I vlog all things to do with mum life and this video is all about teething. So I'm a mummy of two, I've got a little boy called Ralph who has just turned four and I've got this little one here, Olivia, who is almost five months and as you can see, she is very dribbly. <laughs> we are going through that teething phase. Some of the signs to know if your baby's teething is dribbling, that is a big one. Olivia is constantly dribbling, aren't you? Another one is that they wanna put everything in their mouth, like whatever I give her, it goes straight in her mouth. If I'm holding her, she might chew on my arm. She also likes to put her hands in her mouth and like chew on her fingers. Here we go, look. <laughs> um, they could also be like really cranky and irritable. I've noticed that she'll like rub her mouth like a few times as well. So teething can be quite distressing for babies. And do you know what? And for us mummies and daddies as well. We go through it with them. So I've recently gone to Asda and I've stocked up on all our teething supplies. So I thought I'll just share them with you and tell you some of my favourites and some of my tips for teething. Teething rings are one of our favourites and we love these ones from Newbie. These ones are really good because these have got like a special gel in them that can be put in the fridge to keep them nice and cold, which is obviously really soothing on baby's gums. One thing I will say about the teething rings that can go in the fridge is only ever put them in the fridge. Although it might sound tempting to put them in the freezer and like really cool them for your baby, anything frozen can actually damage baby gums. So obviously just make sure they're just cool in the fridge. Also, don't put them in steam sterilizers. <laughs> I have made this mistake in the past because I was like, need to sterilize everything. Put them in my steam steriliser, but these bits actually melt. So yeah, big mistake. So just stick with like Milton sterilising tablets or you could actually use the Milton antibacterial surface wipes. Teething gel is my best friend when it comes to teething. This seems to help relieve pain so much. We really like this one from Dentinox. Another one we like to try are these teething granules. These are the Nelson's ones, but we've also tried the Ashton and Parsons ones in the past as well. Another great one is this dribble bib. This was a Asda's Little Angels one. But at the bottom is this rubber teether. So while they've got it around their neck, you can actually lift it up and give them something to chew on as well. If your baby's just chewing on everything, then if you're at that weaning stage, you could actually give them some healthy snacks to chew on, like some fruit or veg, like apple and carrot is also a really good one because they're quite cooling, especially if they've been in the fridge. You could also try some bread or some breadsticks. As parents, I think we've all become masters of the form of distraction. Like we distract our children from everything, don't we? And a great way to comfort babies when they're teething is to distract them, like play with them, get some toys out. When babies are teething, they can often get teething rash because obviously they're just so dribbly that they just end up really wet in this area. So just gently wiping their neck and face, keeping them dry can really help prevent that rash. Teething is a tough phase and you're going to need lots of patience, lots of cuddles and comforting. But just remember, it is a phase and it won't last forever. But now that teeth are on the way, it's actually time to start looking after them. And even though they haven't got teeth yet, you can actually start cleaning their teeth and mouth. And you can do this by just using like a clean, soft, wet washcloth, which you can actually do at bath time. Just wrap the cloth around your finger and just wipe all around their mouth and gums. And by wiping around in baby's mouth, it can actually just then help you move on to actually using a toothbrush when they actually get their teeth through. So as soon as they get their first tooth, you can start brushing their teeth. And you can just use a little baby toothbrush for this and some baby toothpaste. I'd love to know if you've got any teething tips as well. If you do, please drop them in the comments box below. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Bye!